That's right, I'm Nick Shell. We're gonna talk about hair loss. Thanks to you watching this video, part of the free market determining that me as a person, Nick Shell, is worth a lot when he's talking about hair loss. So I'm gonna talk about hair loss. Plus I noticed on my app, my subscribership is up again, my income level is up again, my watch time is up again. Whatever I've been doing the last seven days is working. Let's, let's keep talking about this kind of stuff, right? Okay, I wanna talk about the fact that I am a thin guy. I'm a thin guy. Is my hair thinning? Uh, am I receding? Am I balding? Sure, but I'm a thin guy. I'm a thin guy. Let's talk about why that matters. Let's talk about why that's important, okay? Now, I understand fully that many of my supporters, my viewers, my subscribers are not American. I, and I think that's awesome. A diversity is one of the things I love most about the world. I love diversity. I love that people of different belief systems and religions uh, and orientations of any kind are gathered here to talk about this one thing. I think that's awesome. I'm proud to have you all here and that we can accept and love each other as we are. That's cool. Now, with that being said, as an American, I'm aware of the obesity problem that America has. I'm aware that there are a lot of, a, of a obese, overweight, unhealthy people. And again, if I could beg you to watch What the Health on Netflix, I would, because it talks about the cause and the prevention. I'm aware of this, but we could probably also agree, based on the numbers that you would simply Google, that I don't look like the typical American 30 year old, 36 year old man. I don't, I'm too thin to be that. Now granted, I'm the right, I'm the perfect weight for my height and age, okay? But I'm not overweight. No one sees me as overweight. I'm a thin guy. I am, and I know that. And I'm always gonna be a thin guy because I'm sticking to my vegan diet and my active lifestyle. And I will always be a thin guy. So even as this gets higher and higher and this goes away, what's still gonna happen is that I am still going to maintain that thing that I have control over. Whereas this, if I have control over it, it's not much, but I definitely have control over my physique. I'm a healthy guy. And what's cool is, here's the way I look at it. If a, if a full head, full thick head of hair ever mattered, I submit to you now, it matters less than ever. And I've already mentioned that there's never been a better time to be a bald guy or a balding guy. I've mentioned that recently in the video. Look that up if you want to. Did you want, did you want to look at the water? I think you did. I heard of some, a few of you comment you want to look at the water. There you go. Don't you just want to get in a canoe right now? There you go. Okay. So like I said, there's never been a better time to go to, to be balding. It's, it's more accepted. You can shave it off. You, there's, there's things you can do to to uh, you know, prevent further loss, you know, but also if you outthink the system and think, you know what? It's this, here's the way I look at it. Hair loss is almost like this false version, this false concept of health. Let's, let's, let's dwell on that for a moment. Let me say it again. I wanna to submit to you that hair loss is this, or, or maintaining your hair is this false version of health. So that if you keep all your hair, you keep that Ronald Reagan going on for the rest of your life, that you're therefore healthier. It's, it's an illusion though, it's not even true. It just, it goes like bodybuilders, right? Oh, they're, look how healthy they are, look at all those muscles. Yeah, but how are they getting those? Even if they're not using steroids, how's their cholesterol? Again, if you watch What the Health on Netflix, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. We have these false ideas of health. And a full head of hair, it's not accurate. But being thin, being active, being healthy like I am, my doctor telling me, you are so, you're healthier than most people your age, you know? And I'm, I'm on no medications. I'm healthy, I'm a healthy guy. And therefore I'm thin, because they kind of go hand in hand, right? So what's cool is, I'm taking control over something I actually have that actually determines health you know, whereas if you want the rest of the world to, think, uh, that, to look at your hair as a symbol of your health, then I say forget that. I'm not playing that game. 
I'm playing the game where I'm actually a healthy guy, I'm a thin guy, and that stands out especially as an American man because most adults, most adult men are actually overweight. So to guy, have a guy who's, comp, who's perfectly in his weight, the, the perfect, not overweight, I'm not underweight, I'm, I'm perfect. I can actually say that I'm perfectly in that range. Not many American men can say that. And I'm gonna keep it that way because that's one more advantage. See, that's the thing. What, what's another thing I always say? I say, uh, show me a balding man who can't, I'll show you a balding man who can. And one of the ways I do that, just like a magician, whoa, look over here, look at the dove flying. What do I do? I keep people focused on things that actually matter about me, things that I got going for me that are, that are good, right? Obviously like having an engaging personality, dressing nice, knowing my skill set, being kind and helpful to others, being funny when I can be. Those are the things that make me valuable as a person. And on top of that, I'm in the minority that I'm actually healthy and fit and thin. So who cares if I'm thinning here? Whoa, broke the stick. Who cares if I'm thinning here? As long as I'm thin here, then that's going to go a long way, especially as you get older. What's one of the ongoing themes I've been having in my videos this week? I say forget high school mentality, forget junior high mentality, forget having, you know, the cool haircut and the cool Nike uh, basketball shoes that you need to be cool because, man, I'm telling you, the further past age 18 you get, the less and less anything like that matters. It matters immediately so much less the moment you become an adult. And that's where I'm trying to bring you with me to adulthood, to things that actually matter. Forget how you feel. Forget what you think is important. It's not about what you think is important. It's about what the rest of the world thinks is important. You remember what I keep saying too? I keep saying that people don't care about you. They care about what value you have to them. So if you're more valuable to other people on those things especially that you have control over, then you win. I know how to win. But I also know how to lose. That is awesome. There's no way I could have planned that. <laughs> and the way to lose is to focus on what you can't control and let it worry you, especially when it's an outdated system. We're not in high school anymore. We're not in junior high anymore. It's not about having cool hair anymore. Those of us who get that, we capitalize on that. Just like that.